Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. I was sent this drawing, which is a typical drawing of a um, dipole. And it reflects a major misunderstanding of how dipoles work, uh, which is really common. I mean, you see it in books and everything. So I want to go over this and just kind of talk a little bit about what's really going on inside a dipole. Okay, so let's do that. So before we jump into this, I'd like to say a special thank you to Michael Grant, who is one of my most recent uh, patrons. Thank you, Michael, for becoming a patron of this channel. You too can become a patron of this channel by going to patreon.com slash ke0og. Let's take a look at this dipole and see what's going on. I was sent this drawing of a dipole. This is a dipole. His question had to do with where to feed it, how to feed it, center, 50 ohm point, whatever. I would not take a look at this part right here because this is not how dipoles are normally fed. But what I want to reverse is or look at is this idea. This is the current and this is RF current. So if you're measuring with an RF probe you will find the voltage, uh, actually the current, to be least at the ends and most at the center and you will find the voltage to be highest at the ends and um, the most at the center. Now there's a problem here. And the problem is this, is this is the current and this is the voltage. Um, you know, I guess we should put I and E, right? Notice that this wave is symmetrical and this wave is anti-symmetrical. It's positive over here and negative over here. So if you integrate across this and look at the power, you will take a point here and a point here, multiply them together, and keep adding that and dividing by the length and whatnot, and you will find out that they are 90 degrees out of phase. 90 degrees out of phase. Now what's the problem with that? The power absorbed by this is zero. It is completely reactive. There's nothing resistive about it. And um, if you look at this right here, the SWR will be infinity, okay? because these two waves right here are out of phase with each other and the power factor is zero. Power factor equals zero, meaning that every bit of energy put into this will leave out of that. And you're going, now wait a minute. This thing cannot be, that you cannot have this. Okay, it is true that the voltage at the ends is usually highest and that the current is zero because the current has nowhere else to go but the voltage can be high. The answer is that the phase difference of these has to change because what we want is something where the voltage curve, it's the half wave, half lambda, right here, okay, and the current waveform, half lambda, have to be in phase for there to be any power absorbed. Now you've got two kinds of power in the, uh, in the wave here. You've got the ohmic losses, which is the resistance in the wire, okay? Uh, it doesn't take very much wire at 100 watts, but, you know, even if you're number 14 wire or something like that, you're okay. You can do okay with 16 or 18. 
and plus the radiation resistance, okay, you want to maximize this and minifies the reflected. So that means that the, I'm talking RF here, not just instantaneous waves, but the RF waveforms for current and voltage have to be in sync in order to get all of the radiation emitted as radio waves, all right? This type of way of thinking about a dipole gives you zero radiated power and 100% reflected power, or an SWR of infinity. This might be a little bit hard to grasp, but the point is that the actual uh, voltage and current waveforms in a perfectly matched system have to be in sync. Now, if we were going to look at, say, um, let's use blue. All right, and we're going to zoom out a little bit here. Now we've got this. We've got this in the center. And you've got your coax or ladder line or whatever. Okay. You've got an input resistance, perfect dipole at exactly the right height to give you 50 ohms. Plus J, oh, let's say 25 ohms. This is the reactive part. This is the resistive part. This will give you an SWR of on the order of 1.6 to 1, okay? That means that there is a phase difference between the current and voltage waveform of, if you plot this, this is 50 degrees, and then you've got 25 degrees, so you go up like this and over like this, and this is the actual uh, signal diagram, okay? So this gives us our 50 plus J25, and this right here is the phase angle. Now the phase angle will affect the SWR, uh, and uh, will, because, uh, yeah, it'll affect the SWR, and so you've got a waveform here and a waveform here that are this number of degrees apart. All right, figuring from here to here is, um, let's see, 180 right, degrees. This distance from here to here is this distance, this uh, angle. All right. And then this antenna will radiate, will radiate very nicely. So um, now you can put some reactive components in here. See, so if this is inductive, you could put a little bit of a capacitor across here or in series with the line, whatever. You can play games. You could put a little stub but those only work on one frequency, so it's often better to just accept the 1.6 and use your antenna tuner to tune it out. So the bottom line here, okay, is that this depiction of a dipole with a voltage curve, um, the most, I'm sorry, the current, it has no place to go at the ends, and the voltage here being maximum at the ends gives you a zero power factor. So this is not the correct representation for a properly radiating dipole. It's more like this. Now, does that blow your mind? Okay, we're very used to seeing things in a certain way. And when we realize that there is a disconnect between the way we see things and the way things must be in order for an antenna to actually radiate power. We go, whoa, there's a big difference there. 
And there is the opportunity to learn more about how an antenna radiates, what power actually looks like on an antenna, and so on. So, there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel financially, please go to dcastlercom support. I'm recommending Patreon right now. Also, please subscribe and click like. And until we next meet, 73.